You can upgrade and migrate from synchronized persistence to shared persistence. If the existing deployment is running ClickSense version 3.1 SR2 or later, if you are migrating from a synchronized persistence deployment to a shared persistence deployment, you must first back up the ClickSense certificates. First, make a backup of the certificates used to secure the ClickSense services. To do this, run the MMC as the same user that runs the ClickSense services. In the File tab, select Add Remove Snap-in. Double-click Certificates and then select Computer Account. Select Local Computer and click Finish. Double-click on Certificates, select My User Account and click on Finish. Expand the Certificates Local Computer and expand the Trusted Root Certification Authorities folder. Then select the Certificates folder. Find the certificate called Certificate Authority for all nodes in ClickSense. That is, by default, the machine name followed by hyphen CA. Right-click, select All Tasks, and then Export. Select Yes, export the private key, and then click Next. Select Personal Information Exchange, select the Export All Extended Properties checkbox, and then click Next. Enter and confirm a password. You will need the password later when you import the certificate during restore. Enter a name for the .pfx file, and then click Next. Click Finish. The .pfx file that contains the CA for all nodes in the ClickSense site is stored in the selected location. Repeat the same procedure and export the server certificate, the SSL certificate, which is located under Certificates Local Computer, Personal, Certificates. The server certificate has the same name as the domain name system, or DNS name, of the machine, and is signed by the CA for all nodes in the site. When you have finished, repeat this procedure and export the client certificate, the ID of the client, which is located under Certificates Current User, Personal, Certificates. The client certificate is named Click Client and is signed by the CA for all nodes in the site. Once you have completed a backup of the certificates that secure the ClickSense services, you can start to backup the repository database. Stop all ClickSense services except the ClickSense repository database. In Microsoft Windows, open a command prompt with administrator privileges. Navigate to the repository database installation location. Insert the following command. If you are prompted for the PostgreSQL super user password, enter the password that you created during the installation of ClickSense. Here is the created backup. Now navigate to the ClickSense folder in the Program Data folder and make a backup of the Apps folder. Then, in the Repository folder, 
Copy the Content, Extensions, App Content folders and Archive Log folders. Make a backup of any locations where content that supports the ClickSense environment may be stored. Now create the file share which you will use as shared storage. Copy your data from the synchronized persistence deployment into the file share folder. Create the following subfolders apps, archive logs, custom data, and static content. Please note that you cannot leave empty spaces in the folder name. Now go to the Program Data folder and copy the contents of the Apps folder to the File Share folder you have just created. Then copy the custom data content in the folder named in the same way. Next, go in the Repository folder and copy the content of the Archived Logs folder in the corresponding folder. Then select the App Content, the Content, the Default Content, and the Extensions folders and copy them into the Static Content folder. When this is complete, you can upgrade your central node by launching the setup file. Select Upgrade to migrate to the shared persistence model. Accept the license agreement and click Next. On the Shared Persistence Storage screen, enter the path or URL to your file share folder that you prepared earlier and click Next. On the Database Service Listener page, enter asterisk. This allows access to the repository database from all IP addresses. In the IP range, you can specify the IP addresses of all nodes in your site. In this example, enter 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 to allow all servers access to the repository database. Enter the username and password for your Windows ClickSense service user account. Enter the password for your repository database super user that you created when you first installed ClickSense. Select the checkbox to allow ClickSense to automatically start the services when setup is complete. Check that all of the ClickSense services have started successfully. When the installation is complete, check that all apps have been migrated successfully to the central node. Now you are ready to install ClickSense with shared persistence on the remaining nodes and join the existing cluster created when you upgraded the central node. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.